Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video, we are going to create this elegant logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So if you want to support this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and don't forget to hit that like button so it will motivate me to create more and more content like this. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main animation as always 90 width is 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, duration I'm not going to choose 1 minute but one uh, I mean 10 seconds and background color I'm going to choose white color, simply hit ok and then hit ok. So we'll get this kind of composition, now let's make this into fit, now press ctrl y on your keyboard. To create one solid background i'll call it as bg and for the color i'm going to choose white color hit ok and hit ok and let's lock this layer now i'm going to select my pen tool and before that don't forget to choose title section like this and for the stroke color i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok and from here to here i'm going to create one line like this and let's make this for, for i mean the stroke width is five pixels Select this line, press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally like this. Now press S for scaling option, let's unlink this. Initially let's make this 0, create one keyframe, go to around 1.15 seconds and let's make this 100 again. Like this, go to 2.15 seconds, create another keyframe, go to 3 point or let's say around 4 seconds and let's make this 0. So we will get this kind of animation. Now select those keyframes, hit F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So we will get something like this. Now we are going to create one ellipse and for the fill I am going to choose black color like this and let's delete this stroke and by holding shift I am going to create one ellipse like this. Now select this shape layer, press Ctrl Alt Home, go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. You can select this shape layer, press P for position and let's move this over here like this. Now I am going to create one rectangle and I am going to create this rectangle like this, hit U. Select this rectangle, hit enter and let's call it as mask, hit OK. Select this, hit enter and let's call it as circle, hit OK. Select this, hit enter and let's call it as line and hit ok select this circle in track mat i am going to choose alpha mat now from here i want this thing to appear so select both of them and let's move them over here select this circle press p for position create one keyframe go to two seconds and create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring this down like this and now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and this handle over here like this and at this point i want this line to be disappear so i'll move those keyframes over here like this so if you see this we'll get this kind of animations and if you think that animation is quite slow so you can select those things you can move them over here like this okay now hit u i am going to select this ellipse and i am going to create one circle over here select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally like this now hit u select this ellipse again hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as stroke and hit ok go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically I don't want any fill so I'll delete this fill and for the stroke I'm going to choose black color like this then press S and increase the scale somewhere around over here and uh, stroke width I'm going to choose 0.5 like this so if you see we'll get something like this now select this shape layer press P for position let's move this over here create one keyframe over here go to around 3 seconds create another keyframe like this let's go to the start and you can 
bring it align vertically so we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move the sandal over here so if you see we are getting this animation first then this if you want then you can move this over here also like this okay now go to the last keyframe hit u select this ellipse i mean this shape layer hit u hit ctrl d to duplicate it and if you want to rotate it there are two ways you can do you can simply select this press p select your selection tool and you can adjust it over here like this or you can simply hit ctrl z you can create one null object like this let's move this over here select this shape layer which is our extra one let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press r and you can rotate it on 90 degree like this then select the shape layer and you can make this none so now we will get this kind of animation now we will create four copies like that so select this hit ctrl d again we will make it apparent with this null one now we will select this null one let's make it 180 and now we will make this none select this hit ctrl d again make it apparent with this null one and select this null one let's make it 270 like this and now our four copies are done so we will delete this null object so now if you see we will get this kind of stuff now at this point i want the stroke to appear so i'll move this layer over here i'll go to the add menu and i'll choose trim path let's go to the trim path and let's make this initially zero create one keyframe over here hit u go to around four seconds and let's make this complete 100 select those keyframe hit f9 let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation so first animation is this then this then this and then this like this okay now right click new and create one null object like that let's select this to this and making this parent with this null 2 select this null 2 let's go over here press r for rotation create one keyframe over here go properly around at four second and let's make this one complete rotation now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you play this animation we will get something like this now at this point what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this null object i'll press s for scaling option i'll create one keyframe and i'm going to move this to around let's say six second and i'll increase the scale all up to somewhere around like this now select those keyframe hit f9 and go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so if you see this animation now you get something like this now we will select this ellipse at this point press s for scaling option create one keyframe go few frame forward let's make it bigger and if you want you can select this or you can adjust the size like this and at this point let's make this zero now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the go to the graph editor zoom in select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we get something like this and yeah now at this point i am going to select this circle i'll press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm not going to choose any alpha mat by holding alt open bracket i'll trim this and press s for scaling option and let's delete this scaly create one keyframe at the scale and go to around this point and i'm going to increase this value like this now go to the start uh, i don't want any fill for this so i'll delete this fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color like this and stroke width let's choose 100 and press s and let's decrease the size of it like this now select this go inside this contents go inside this ellipse one go to the stroke one and create one keyframe at the stroke width and hit u 
go over here and let's make this zero now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this move this handle over here like this now if you think this animation is very fast so that you can what you can do let's make this initial stroke width 50 like this and let's move this up to here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay let's move this thing over here now i am going to select this mask and this circle i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and now we will select this circle and in the fill option i am going to choose white color like this now select the circle press s go to the any keyframe you want like this now select all the keyframes and let's make this size small like this so if you see this thing now we will get something like this now we will select this circle and we will bring this at the top like this so now we will get something like this and there is another thing you can do at the start you can hit page down button two times and you can move this over here like this so you will get something like this okay now hit you now uh, those who are parent with this null 3 like from this null uh, 2 and this shape layer select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as what we call circles and hit ok and hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s and you can increase the scale like this press f4 and click on this option hit ctrl d again press s and you can click on this option like this so you'll get something like this now select all of them press r for rotation go to the start you can create one keyframe over here you can go over here you can rotate it like this and you can select this one and let's make it minus 117 so let's see you will get something like this so select this and move this over here and click on this option and i think we don't need to apply the rotation animation it looks quite weird and let's make this zero rotation first of all let's go inside this circle select this null object hit u and in rotation instead of one complete rotation i am going to make it 180 only not one completely so i'll get this kind of rotation let's see what we are going to get let's go over here select this shape layer go to the start press s create one keyframe go few frame forwards create another keyframe go to the start and let's make it zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here so we will get a little bit of scaling animation for this now select the scale keyframe hit ctrl c select this go to the start and hit ctrl v select this hit ctrl v select this one also and hit ctrl v so if you see over here this animation we will get something like this now hit page down button three times select this move this over here again change by down button three times move this over here so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff okay so our almost all animation is done now all we need to do we need to import our logo so you are free to choose whatever logo you want i will choose some logo
I have this KFC logo over here so I'll choose this one press S for scaling option and I'll scale it like this okay now this is my white one so select this and let's move this over here let's enable this okay I'll bring this here or something okay so let's select this and let's move this over here you can select this hit you go over here and let's make this zero so if you see this thing now we'll get something like this now what we need to do we need to select all of the things press ctrl shift c to pre-compose select this line hit ctrl x go inside this and hit ctrl v so it will move this over here now as you guys can see my color of this logo is like this so select this thing go to the effect and presets panel and you can search for tint effect on it sorry tint effect and instead of black color you can choose this color so we'll get something like this and instead of white color we will choose this color like this now go inside this circle we will select this one and this one and we will choose white color for the circles so obviously we will get something like this let's go inside the circles we will select this stroke and we will bring this downwards so we are gonna get something like this now let's go to go inside this select this one press r let's make it 45 and let's make it 90 let's see okay now press n go inside this select all of them and make sure to enable this blur option also select them and hit ctrl a make enable this blurry option so we will get this kind of motion graphics now go to the start press s create one keyframe go to around 6.15 frames and let it make it 115 and select this hit play so we will get this kind of animation now whenever this thing is gonna pop up like this let's go inside this as you guys know we have this circle over here i'll select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here press s and let's make it zero initially so you'll get this extra pop-up you can select this layer hit ctrl x go to the main animation select this move this and hit ctrl v over here and bring it over here like this and in stroke color i'm going to choose this color and or instead of that you can choose this color also like this so if you see you get something like this let's move this over here yeah so this is how with the help of simple motion graphics you can create this kind of elegant looking logo reveal animations let's move this up to 7.15 like this so yep that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates, until then stay tuned.